Um, hi, and welcome to Progressive Short Takes. I'm your host, uh, Joe Firestone. Uh, in this uh, short take, I just like to call your attention to the fact that um, Evo Morales has returned to Bolivia. He has come home, okay, from um, Argentina. I'll share a post that appeared in Common Dreams on November 9th. Title of it is Historic Day Jubilation as Evo Morales returns to Bolivia one year after the military coup. Of course, you probably know already that uh, um, that there was an election uh, um, in Bolivia a few weeks back and that Uh, the Movement for Socialism, the MAS party, the party that is led by Evo Morales, uh, won the election um, handily with a majority of the votes, which is rare for Bolivia. And uh, there is a new Bolivian uh, president whose name is Luis Ars. Um, um, Arce, perhaps, I'm not sure how you pronounce his name, who's a close ally, okay, of Evo Morales. And he was inaugurated following his election last month. And this is considered a great victory for the indigenous peoples. And hopefully will be a continuation of the regime Okay, of Evo Morales. Um, anyway, it was deemed safe for Evo to return home. And so he was welcomed um, back to Bolivia on Monday morning. Uh, which was on the 8th of, no, no that was um, but Sunday was the 8th. So Monday morning was the 9th of November, the day of this article. He was surrounded by the thunderous cheers of thousands of supporters who took part in the joyous celebration filled with, uh, with music. It was a great victory, okay, for Evo. It made me very, very happy to see it. Uh, the military coup was one that was influenced by the United States and facilitated by unsubstantiated claims of electoral fr uh, fraud, uh, which was made by the Organization of American States under the influence of the United States and which was condoned by the corporate media uh, um, outlets. And the return of Evo came one day after the uh, uh, um, inauguration of his ally, President um, Arce, as the new president of the country. Massive crowds gathered in uh, the Villa Zone a southern town that borders La Cuyaca, Argentina, to greet um, Evo Morales upon his return to Bolivia, where he'd spent the most of the past 12 months as a political refugee. He tweeted early on Monday morning, um, Evo did, quote, today is an important day in my life. Returning to my homeland, which I love so much, fills me with joy. He crossed uh, the border with Argentinian um, president um, um, Alberto Fernandez. And Morales was not the only person ecstatic about his homecoming. Journalist um, 
Ali Vargas shared a video on social media of people dancing in Villa Zone on Sunday night in anticipation of his uh, return. Everybody was bursting with excitement. And there is a uh, scene from a video there of people bursting with excitement, certainly. On Monday morning, thousands of people gathered to welcome um, Evo Morales back to the country. And there are more pictures, all the colorful flags, all the flags of the indigenous uh, the people's movement uh, 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 in Bolivia. In moments before his uh, return, Camila um, Escalante, a reporter who tells Sir uh, English called it a, quote, historic day for the people, uh, for the people of Bolivia and our continent, unquote. She noted, quote again, will be received by the very social movements who defeated the coup and restored uh, democracy. There's a picture of uh, Camilla. Was taken in uh, Juje, Argentina. And there were other clips of his return. He said, quote, I'm very grateful to the Bolivian people for receiving me with such affection, unquote. He tweeted that soon after his return to Bolivia. According to Telesur English, uh, he was accompanied by Fernandez and Willem Bark on a tour of Bolivia this week and is scheduled to arrive in the city of Cochachamba on Wednesday. That was the 11th, four days ago. And he arrived uh, safely. And as far as I know, he is still safe. And there haven't been any assassination attempts as yet. That was something that was to be feared and is still to be feared. But thus far, he is safe and there have been celebrations of his return. So I wanted to call that uh, um, to your attention. Uh, the victory in the election was a historic victory. It's important for Latin America um, as a whole for South America, uh, for the Andes region, and for the indigenous peoples okay, of South America. It represents a triumph of the people um, um, in that country. And it's a hopeful sign for Venezuela okay, as well, okay, I think. Hopefully Joe Biden will change foreign policy, though I have to report that there's no indication as yet uh, that uh, he's going to do that. And it's very possible that the United States will pursue further regime change actions in South America. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there, except to say congratulations to, uh, to Evo and congratulations to the Movement for Socialism. And congratulations to all those who value peace in South America and who value democracy um, in South America. This is a wonderful thing that has happened. And we should all celebrate a little. That's it for me at this point.